cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. There's your weather video for this Sunday, 13th of February. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray getting ready for Valentine's Day. Some severe weather on the horizon um, out there at um, the Thursday time period. We'll talk about that in just a moment. A lot to get to, starting off the national map early this morning. So in most of the country, uh, pretty chilly, at least the middle of it. Uh, still some warmth over Florida, and of course, some warmth in Southern California, where they will play the Super Bowl later today. Closer to home in Alabama, temperatures much colder this morning after a cold front moved through yesterday. The cold air moved in overnight. Some showers exiting east Alabama. Could be a lake or two of snow over there in the middle of all that. And the National Weather Service has warned, uh, or the National Weather Service in Mobile has warned of the same thing for interior portions, southeastern Mississippi, southwestern Alabama. Maybe some flakes flying in places like Jackson, Monroeville, Thomasville, Camden this morning. Uh, wouldn't expect any problems, of course, just uh, something interesting for a February morning. Across the nation, we've got uh, winter weather advisories and uh, one little subsection of a winter storm warning there in Virginia, up through Maryland, Pennsylvania, and to coastal New England uh, for some uh, two to four inch snows today. Uh, most of that really not causing any problems. Um, just uh, sticking to grassy areas, uh, but some areas uh, getting a little bit heavier snowfall. Uh, high wind warnings there for southeastern Wyoming. Some wind chill advisories for the uh, northern plains, northern Midwest, and heat advisories around Southern California. As we said earlier, the Super Bowl will be the warmest since 1973. Of course, that was a memorable Super Bowl, not only because of the heat, it was in Los Angeles also, because that was the Miami Dolphins' undefeated season. We'll tell the story of the week in three graphics, and then we'll drill down further. But this is the upper air pattern across North America today, uh, this morning, showing a deep upper trough across uh, much of the eastern United States, big ridge in the west. You would expect that from what we saw in the earlier maps. Uh, the pattern sort of flip-flops as we get to Tuesday. Big ridge of high pressure in the east, big trough of low pressure in the west. That means warm and dry air for most of this area, and uh, stormy and colder air moving across the western portion of the country by Thursday. Uh, early Thursday, that front is or that uh, upper trough is moving into the central plains and beginning to take on a fairly powerful look, and that means stormy weather ahead for us. And that's true. The SPC thinks that has for several days, uh, showing severe weather threat uh, on uh, Wednesday. Parts of the uh, Arklatex, northwestern Louisiana, southwestern Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma, and northeastern Texas. By Thursday, that severe weather threat shifts to the east, including much of the deep south, western Tennessee, Mississippi, most of Alabama, back in Arkansas and Louisiana. Let's uh, see what we really have to contend with here. Um, one graphic out of place there. Let's start back here for Sunday the 13th, showing that trough right there across Alabama, uh, the deep south. Uh, keeping us in the cooler air again today. Uh, high temperatures today going to be in the 40s over most of the area, at least the northern half of the area. It's the 50s over south central Alabama, but we'll uh, struggle to get out of the out of the 40s anywhere north of uh, Montgomery. Uh, tonight, overnight lows again cold. Uh, we started off chilly this morning. We'll be even colder tomorrow morning with the uh, middle 20s over north Alabama, um, upper 20s over the central part of the state and um, probably a freeze almost all the way to the Gulf Coast. This is the GFS for Monday, showing a dry and fair conditions across Alabama, high pressure center in New Orleans. We'll see highs tomorrow in the 50s. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be back into the 60s uh, after a chilly morning, but the warm-up will begin in earnest, high pressure beginning to shift to the east. We'll see a southerly flow developing over Alabama, which will help to import moist and warmer air. By Wednesday, that's in full effect. Uh, the Gulf is open for business, funneling moisture into the deep south. 
We'll see a dew points rising, and it'll become uh, breezy during the day on Wednesday. But it should be mostly dry. We could see a late shower Wednesday night. Uh, but I think most of the rain activity will hold off until Thursday. By then, low pressure Thursday morning is centered near Little Rock, Arkansas. Back in the colder air over Missouri and Illinois, we've got uh, some freezing precipitation there. Uh, it could be some problems for those areas. Rain and thunderstorms beginning to break out over Alabama. And uh, rain will become likely during the day on Thursday. The low moves into uh, western Kentucky, southern Indiana, near Paducah there by noon on Thursday. And uh, Alabama should be in a warm and moist atmosphere at that time. Now, the GFS and the European, pretty good agreement on this system uh, in terms of timing. It's faster, uh, not quite as amplified. And that means that the return of moisture to the north may not be uh, quite as much as we thought. But still, instability will cover much of west central and southwest Alabama, south Alabama, up into the I-59 corridor with, uh, uh, with uh, upward buoyancy in these areas uh, and enough uh, instability there for the development of showers and thunderstorms. Bulk shear will not be a problem. Thunderstorms could be organized. The real problem may be that the moisture is so widespread and rainfall may become so widespread that that will be a limiting factor to severe weather. But if we do get any individual thunderstorms that rotate, they will not lack for low-level shear. This is storm relative velocity, helicity uh, over the uh, Alabama and the southeast United States, showing some high values there, uh, generally along south I-59 corridor. So, you know, right now, lots of unanswered questions. Uh, certainly a threat of severe weather, uh, possibility of tornadoes on Thursday, depending on how the system evolves. Lots of questions at this point, more than more than we have answers. But of course, we've got three days to look at it. Moving on to Friday. This is, well, this is Thursday night at six o'clock, showing the uh, rain fairly heavy across much of north and central Alabama. Rainfall amounts will be uh, generous with the system, around one and a half to two inches. By Friday, the system's moving out much colder. One of the limiting factors, the real lack of forcing with this system uh, we don't see the height falls that we would normally see with an approaching front, and that may limit some of that severe weather threat on Thursday. We'll take that. Uh, another system developing in the Gulf on Saturday. Should be another nice day, though. Uh, high temperatures in the 50s after lows in the 30s. And then for Sunday, uh, latest runs the GFS have shunted this system a little further to the south. Earlier runs had more rainfall up into central and north Alabama. We'll be watching that. That is a possibility. And we go out to the end of the period here. This is Wednesday night, the 23rd, showing another active storm system uh, over uh, the Midwest, pushing a cold front into Alabama. And that could set the stage for another active uh, weather event. This is uh, the temperatures off the national blend of models. We'll see, you'll see it's warming to near 70 by Thursday. We fall back off, start the slow climb again to uh, make 70 by that 23rd we were just looking at. Weather brains this week, we'll take Valentine's night off. Tuesday night, we'll talk to uh, Allison Chimchar and her husband, Mike Bettis. Mike, of course, from the Weather Channel has been on the Weather Brain show before, but we'll be talking about Managing the lives of two meteorologists in one marriage. Weather Brains is the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. Get it wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, it's a labor of love done by all the meteorologists that you see on the screen. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 13th. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. A great week ahead. We'll keep a close eye on the severe weather. Update on the forecast coming up at noon. We'll have notes on the blog. James will be back two days all week starting tomorrow. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you Sunday. And until I get that chance, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Cracks and Brick. Cracks in block, call Alabama Professional Services. Leaning or bowing basement walls, call APS. Sticking windows or doors, call APS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today, 205-926-1700.